Hi, today we're going to talk about the import and export MapMe feature. So first, you can find this feature here by going to the left menu and clicking on import export. Now let's talk about resources that you have available. If you click on the question mark and click on learn more, you will be redirected to this article with all the information about the feature. Now, what can you use this feature for? You can actually use a spreadsheet to populate content on your map or to edit the existing content in bulk on your map. Let's go ahead and take a look to a spreadsheet. So here we are in this spreadsheet now. One important thing is to include these headers. These headers are what help MapMe's software recognize all the data that's included here. So let's talk about each one of them. MapMe ID is a unique ID for each location that you add on your map. You don't need to populate this. This is something that our software populates. Now, the second one is name. This is the only mandatory field and it can be whatever you want. The description, it's the same. You can add up to 8,000 characters here. The categories, they can be whatever you want to, and they don't necessarily have to be created prior to adding them here in the spreadsheet. You can add them here and you can add multiple. So say you wanted to add one place that belongs to the bar category and that also belongs to the restaurant category, then all you need to do is to separate them with a semicolon like this. The address, we usually recommend it to have this format, street first, then comma, then city, and then comma, and then state and zip code. However, it can have a different format. And if you want to add simply just a city, you can just do city and state or city and country. Latitude and longitude are also two columns that are populated by our software and you don't necessarily need to add them if you don't want to. If you have them, you can. The pitch is a 3D effect that your map has when it opens one specific location. It can be anything from zero to 60. The sum level, it's also the sum level that the location has when it's clicked or open, and it can be anything from two being world view and 22 being the closest view you can get. Bearing is the orientation that the location has, and it can be any value from zero to 360. Action text is the call to actions text that is gonna have in that specific location. The URL, it can be any URL from any website. However, make sure it is a secure link. And lastly, the image URL. Well, you can add images through the import. However, they need to be hosted. In order for you to host them, you can use your own host service or you can use a free one like this one called postimages.org. So here we have a sample of data that we can use to import to our map. We usually recommend using Google Sheets because this spreadsheet has to be on CSV format and encoded as UTF-8. And all files that are downloaded from Google Sheets are by default encoded as UTF-8. However, you can use other programs like Microsoft Excel. Just make sure it's encoded in the right way. Now that we have downloaded the data, we can go to the import and simply drop the file there. The import is only going to take a few seconds and now you're going to see the data there. You will be able to see the name, the address, the description, any call to action and the images to include it. Now let's go ahead and check how we can make changes. So in order to make changes to the existing data on your map, we need to click on export and edit that file. As you can see, this option is currently grayed out. That is because the data, it's not yet published. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish and this will enable me to download 
a copy of the maps data. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to Google Drive and upload this file. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and open it with Google Sheets so I can edit this file. What you will see different now is that the MapMe ID is already there. This MapMe ID helps our software recognize that this is an existing location and not a new one. Here, we can make any changes we want. So, for instance, say we wanted to change the description in one of these, and we wanted to make this shorter, right? So, I'm just gonna go ahead and change this here. And now that I'm happy with the changes that I've made, I can simply download the file once again. Going back to the map, we can select now Sync, which will let our software know that all we want to do is to synchronize the data that we have from that spreadsheet to the existing data that's on the map. And there we go. The description is now different. If you have questions or anything, please feel free to reach out to the chat. We're always happy to help.